What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Sean, aka Sean Steiger, back again with day number two of the MLS SBC. Trying to get that Javinko card. I'm actually recording this on the day I did all the SBCs. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna upload part two on the next day. You know, kind of give you guys a break, break it up a little bit, and make this video more watchable. Because it's gonna be kind of long. It's a lot of SBCs and a lot of you know getting players in order and stuff. So. I'm trying to make it a better experience for you all, and I guess also to help myself with editing, because stuff takes forever. You'd be surprised. But we've done Atlanta, Chicago, Colorado, Columbus, DC United, Dallas, Houston Dynamo, and LA Galaxy on day number one. So if you guys want to see those solutions, make sure you check back on my channel for the day number one video. Day number two, now we're going to take a look at Minnesota United FC first. Looks like they have a 65 overall team rating, not too bad for that one. I kind of expect as much. They don't have any gold players, I believe. It's all silvers and bronzes. I think I want to save that Kevin Molino if I can, because he's a very good card. I actually used him in the tournament the other day with the four, only four gold players, and he was a beast. Like, he was hanging in there with Conte and stuff and those guys and just bodying people. Really good card. All right, I've got way more than enough players here. They got a lot of bronzes, as you can see. I actually got pretty much a full team now and the the bench and reserves. I think I have pretty much every Minnesota United player. I don't know why I have all these guys, but I do. Uh, we're gonna need some silvers though. It is a 65 team rating. 4-2-3-1 narrow again. If you guys saw my video yesterday, you guys know how frustrating I am with these 4-2-3-1 narrows. They're just so tough to deal with because again, the wingers just don't matter in this formation. Your left mids, your right mids, all those guys you invested in and saved up for are completely useless. You can use them like a right mid but they don't get chemistry anywhere else. I mean, maybe a striker if you put them as like a left forward, right forward, but frankly, this costs too much to convert them all the way up to that position. I do have a lot of CDMs on the team, so I think this will let us get by, hopefully. We have Vanegas as Cam. And I have another DM here. I don't have any more Cams on the team. Let's see if this works. 92 chemistry, do these guys have loyalty on them? All right, no loyalty whatsoever on any of these players. Goodness, so I think what we're going to have to do is convert one of these players. We're going to convert our striker out into a center forward. I think that's actually cheaper than converting a CDM to a CM. But yeah, this is the team here. One position change for it. Not too bad overall. Going to get a small, rare bronze players pack. I don't know who wants that pack, but we're going to get it. So, yippee. Second challenge of the day is going to be Montreal Impact. This team is going to be a 67 overall rating, which should actually be kind of easy. I don't think it's going to be too difficult for this one. All right, we can probably save Piotti and Jamaili. Iyango, I actually want to save him as well because he's about to leave. So let's see if we can use these guys on down and meet the rating requirement for it. Gonna use the bronzes first, and we're gonna move up to silvers if we do need a higher rating. I'm so happy it's not another 4 2 3 1 narrow. I can deal with the 4 3 3. I, I can deal with pretty much anything that's not a 4 2 3 1 narrow. Those are the worst formations, and unfortunately, it seems like every team in MLS is running one. I'll put Mancosu there. He's gonna get the hyperlink to his boy Donadell in midfield. This is the team, though. Got 100 chemistry. Put a Duro at center mid, get some chemistry in that position. We do meet the 67 rating exactly with no gold players. That's good to see. I'm glad I can save my Piatti and my Jamai League because I actually do use those cards when I'm running an MLS team. And we're going to get a prime silver players pack for completing this one. So that's two down. We got five more to go for today. New England Revolution. I'm scared to see this one. It's going to be a narrow formation. They have like no wingers. It's a narrow formation. A 4 1 2 1 2 narrow. The most meta formation. I called it earlier in my investing video because they have like pretty much no wingers on the team. So at least I was kind of prepared for this one. I did buy a bunch of central players for New England Revolution. So we're going to be good to go. I might try to save my Kai Kamara because he did transfer to the Whitecaps. So his car is going to kind of dead stock pretty soon. We'll recover in the midfield. I think striker might be the only position I'm kind of worried about. I don't want to sack my Kai Kamara. Well, actually, no, we do have two strikers. So we're good to go in strikers actually. I think we got this one covered. Chris Tierney at left back. I might be able to save him too because he's the only left back on the team. So if I can use another center back there instead of uh, Tierney at left back, then that's pretty good. I don't know if I want to sacrifice my lead win either. I kind of like this card. We'll put Kobayashi at Cam. 
Oh, the rating requirement's not high enough. All right, so we're gonna row, row, row our boats and put row at cam instead. 68 team rating, gonna meet the requirement. Two bronze in the side, and we did not have to sacrifice Lee Win or Kai Kamara, so that's pretty good. Small prime election players pack for this one. Again, with the bad packs, a little disappointing, but we'll take them, I guess. It's all about the reward at the end. We're like, we're not doing it for the packs. You know, if, if you guys are like me, you're probably doing it for the Javinko at the end and the 25,000 coins. So that's gonna be the primary reward for doing this SBC. So I think that's three down now. We're on number four, NYCFC, 67 rating. I take a look at this team. I wanna say my Pirlo and my David Villa if I can. Cause I wanna sell a Pirlo when his price is like eight, 9,000 coins later on in the year. I do have his SBC card, but I'm just holding on this card for investing purposes. All right, so we got a bunch of bronzes here. I don't think we can use as many bronzes in the team. It is a 67 team rating. Unless I use golds in there, which I don't want to use. We're not going to do this. I think Harrison might be one that, to save. So I'm going to put a bronze in there at right wing. Let's put this guy there. I'm going to need some higher rated silvers though. I really like Alexander Ring's card. Alexander is a great card. We're gonna sacrifice him though. I put Callens in there, should note. Moderita, I did use him in the knockout tournament. Not a bad card. All right, so we're gonna put Sean Johnson, my dude, a goalkeeper, former Chicago Fire player. And I think this does it. Yeah, we got all the requirements met. We get to save our goal players and Jack Harrison. 67 overall team rating. Gonna get a small prime election players pack for completing this one. I think this one I should have had a better reward too, like at least a gold, can't think it was like a gold prime pack or something, I don't know. I don't make these things up. But that is one, two, three, four teams down, on to the last three ones now. Gonna go across the pond to the neighbors, New York Red Bulls. This is gonna be a 67 overall team rating with a very interesting formation. They got a five at the back, it's like a five. It's like a 5-2-3 or something. I don't know what this is, but yeah, it's a 5 at the back. I don't mind sacrificing. Actually, we're going to try to keep Kleshton. He just got traded to the Orlando City FC, so I think this card might be kind of valuable in the future. All right, so this is the squad here. Got plenty of extras, as you can see. I want to see how many bronzes I can get away with right now. Kamara Lawrence. I'm just curious what his price is right now. I think he's the only left back on the team. I got mine for 800 coins. All right, he's actually not even that inflated. I think what happened is a lot of these people over invested in MLS. I mean, everybody was trying to invest in this thing. And of course, everyone's trying to sell their investments today. So the price really haven't gone up that much for most of these players. But um, I think give it time, like give the, the silvers time to kind of go in price. I think as more people sacrifice these cards and you know, people are opening silver packs like that. Silver packs aren't as common as the gold packs. So I think once their supply goes down, we'll start to see the prices go up accordingly. Do I have the other goalkeeper? Yeah, what's his name? Uh, forgot his name now. The Iron Man, forgot his name, but I don't have him apparently, so we gotta put the bronze at goalkeeper. I think we should be able to get away with it. We do have a goal in the team. Salazizo at a right back. We're gonna put Davis there. I guess I'm gonna save Tyler Adams then. That's the team, we actually do get it done. One more raid that we need, plenty of chemistry to spare. Uh, not bad at all. This one's definitely a lot easier than I thought it would be. We saved quite a few of our key players, so that's pretty good to see. Gonna submit that one for a, what is this? A small, rare silver players pack. All right. So that is five teams down. We got two more left to go on day number two. We're gonna take a look at Orlando City FC. Oh, great. Another narrow formation of 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. I think I called this one as well. They don't have a lot of wingers on the squad. So I don't think it's gonna be much of an issue. I did prepare and buy several central players on this one. 67 overall rating. That shouldn't be too bad with Kaka on the team. I might try to save him though, just in case. I think he's gonna be another player like Prelo that rises up in price because he is, I think, out of packs by now. He retired at the end of last season. The Redding got transferred. He's gonna be out of packs pretty soon. This guy's name is PC. Hello, I'm a Mac. And I'm a PC. Is that his real name? Oh no, he's got some, some other longer name. What does it say? It'd be funny if they had a Mac on the team too. Then they could have like Mac and PC. All right, we're gonna start to put these guys in. I think I'm gonna need a lot more silvers though. We're gonna put Spectre in, 72 rated center back. That's how you get your ratings up, using guys like that. I kinda like Nostarino. He's one of the few Italian players in MLS, so we're gonna try to save him if we can. 
the funny thing is, I don't even use a lot of these players. I think I used Nocerino like once this year, but I don't know. I just like having these players in my club for whatever reason. I'm a, I'm a bit of a collector, I guess. Finally, we're gonna need a striker. Can I just put like a random player there? No, I cannot. So we're gonna need a proper striker. There's our goalkeeper, 11 players in the squad. Managed to save Kaka and Nocerino, Ramos, a few other guys like that. That wasn't too bad at all. Gonna get a premium gold pack again for this one. I guess spreading all those weird like rare bronze and premium silver player stuff like I I'll take golds you know at least golds have a chance of getting a Ronaldo or something crazy. It's probably a super slim chance in a premium gold pack but it's a chance nonetheless. What are my chances? Not good. You mean not good like one out of a hundred? I'd say more like one out of a million. So you're telling me there's a chance. Anyway, now we're going to take a look at our final team of day number two. Philadelphia Union. A little bit high of a team here. I'm actually kind of surprised at 67 like Orlando, considering they don't have any gold players on the team. I don't want to sacrifice Bedoya if possible. I kind of like his card. I definitely like Andre Blake's card. We're going to try to save him if we can. And this guy, we're definitely not going to touch him. I bought him for 7,000 coins. Harris Med Medunajanin? I don't know how you even say his name. He's a bit of a collector's item. He's so rare. I mean, look at those free kicks and stuff. He's got like 80 free kick accuracy on the silver, which is incredible. 81 long shots and 83 shot power. It's absolutely insane. I'm not sure why he listed as a CDM. He's more of a CM or a cam. Uh, this car is like probably one of the better silver midfielders in the game. So that's why it's so expensive. We're not gonna be sacrificing that card. But these guys on down, skill Senio, all these guys can get sacrificed. We do not care about them. So no bronze in the team, right? maybe it does deserve a 67 rating for this one. There's no bronze apparently that I have. I got pretty much all the cheap players for all these teams. Unfortunately, it is a 4-2-3-1 narrow. No! No! Going back to this formation again, I don't want to see another 4-2-3-1 narrow in my life. I'm probably never gonna use that formation, not that I ever use narrow formations in this FIFA. But man, it's just so frustrating to see that. I'm so tired of these formations. Oh, uh, let's see, we have a cam. Do we have any more central midfielders? I don't believe we do. I'm probably gonna have to sacrifice Blake, but I guess I can buy him again later. Uh, Bedoya, we, actually we can use Simpson. We're, let's use Simpson, convert him to a center forward, and that should work for a cam position. This is my last striker center forward card, so hopefully there's no more four, two, three, one narrows after this. <laughs> That gets enough chemistry there. And we're able to save Bedoya and the other guy, Medunjanin, whatever his name is. Not too bad there, 68 rating, only 67. Gonna get a small prime election players pack for complete this one. So this has been day number two of the MLS SBC. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you missed day number one, make sure you check that out. Day number three should be coming tomorrow. So thank you all for watching. Stay tuned and I will see you next time.